But it's basically 10 points and we're gonna be talking about two of them here, like briefly. Uh, so out of the 10, if you guys can see, for controlling mastitis, two are proper milking procedures and proper maintenance and use of milking equipment. So it's inside <coughs> the parlor. Raise your hands if you guys do this. Like strip, how many of you did strip? Dip, pre-dip. Clean and dry towels, could be towels or um, paper. Post dip, use of gloves. Okay. The reason why I'm, I'm asking you guys about that is because we have done a survey here in you. So this data is from 400 <coughs> farms here in Ohio. And this was the results that we have. 59% of the farms, these 400 farms, and those 400 farms were organic and uh, conventional, no organic farms. 59, only 59% do a strip. 89% pre-dip, 92% use towel, and 97% use post-dip. As Dr. Ben told us, um, we do have to identify mastitis, right? So how do we do? identify that we have a problem with our milk if you are not doing history. Um, another point that we look at this survey was out of those 400 farms, how many of those farms were doing all four at the same time? So in that previous slide, we were asking how much does like pre-strip. In this case, we ask how much of you guys do the four at the same time? Guess the number that we have. 30%. Ah, you have seen that. 30%, okay? And we are, we are interested on the contagious pathogen. So we were talking with them about the Staphylococcus aureus. So one of the recommendations for Staphylococcus aureus, positive cows when you have in your farm, is to l milk them last, right? So then we have asked them, you do the four, and you milk your positive Staphylococcus aureus cows last. How many percent do we have? Seven percent. <laughs> so just only seven percent of the, the producers were doing the four uh, procedures that we ask and uh, having the positive cows milked last. So this was kind of like, uh oh, we do have to talk more about this, because one of the controls that we have for staph aureus, um, and of course it's much easier for me to say if you have a positive cow, just call that cow, but I had a, a, a farm that 75% of the cows were positive for staph aureus. I cannot go there and ask them to cool your 75% cows, right? So one of the methods that we use is having that, those positive cows milked by last. In, in, the, in the parlor. And I said, well, we might have to draw attention to our producers that this is really, really important for us to do. Um, and not just by, <coughs> and we compare those that we're not using with those that we're using, and the finding of staph aureus were two times more in those herds that were not doing this. Just by not doing it, you double the chance of having staph aureus in your heart, okay? Um, this is just a number for you guys to see how important it is and how contagious it is a contagious pathogens, right? So if you have one teat, two teats, or three teats that are positive for staph aureus or contagious pathogens, for example, you increase your likelihood of being positive infected um, greatly. And this is very important for those organic farmers. Right, so in organic, this is, is extremely important. Use of gloves, you guys said that most of you have raised your hands in using gloves. This is something that whatever paper that you read, uh, you will be having different factors, risk factors for mastitis. So bedding could be or bedding could not. This type of bedding or this type of whatever. This is something that it's, everybody likes it and it's helpful. This will help you control the, the staph aureus. So please do use. Sometimes you see like 
And, and you just get to get used to, right? When, once you get used to it, it's fine. But like I have heard, I cannot do stripping. I cannot work with gloves. Yes, you can. Just try a little harder and then yes, you can. You get used and, and, and it will be fine, right? Um, so as Dr. Ben said, like we do have years and years of research, how to prevent, how to control, how to lower. All this is we're all known. But there is one point that in my experience is really, really important. And it makes a difference because mastitis is just like a, a detailed disease. Um, you do everything right. And for some reason, you have a problem. That some reason, it could be a minor detail that you are missing, okay? Um, so what is lacking that my, my somatic cell is high or that I'm having problems? This is a very interesting uh, research that has done by a, a team from um, Canada. And if you have staph aureus, you are 2.4 times higher odds of acquiring if you do believe that you are doing enough. So this is very important. Like I, I, I'm doing whatever I can do and that's it. Just by having that mindset, you are already like in 2.4 times higher in acquiring uh, a, a stuff or this problem. So I always compare, like I, for my students, I always show them this. You can be this, right? So you can be this type of uh, producer, student, whatever person that you have everything and you choose not to do anything, or you could be like that, right? So it's really a mindset. You really have to put yourself and say, yes, I can do it, something different, and let's see it.